On this week's test ride, we're going to closely examine and ring out a very popular model from Yamaha, the SR Viper with a 137 inch track. Why is it so popular? Because this is Yamaha's answer to the 120 horsepower, 600cc, two-stroke class. Yamaha's SR Viper LTX GT has been a solid and credible competitor in the 600 two-stroke class. The 1049cc triple cylinder power plant is the hands-down nicest running four-stroke mill in the entire snowmo biz. The icing on the cake is the boilerplate reliability this engine displays. You're probably wondering why year after year we keep picking this 1049cc Yamaha triple as our favorite four-stroke snowmobile engine. It's all about throttle response, throttle activation, and throttle transitions. It is seamless and smooth like no other four-stroke motor. The 1049 uses three throttle bodies and three injectors to deliver precisely calibrated fuel intake from the engine's EFI system. This is different than the 1049's four-stroke rival, the sophisticated 900 Ace Triple from Skidoo. Skidoo uses one throttle body, which is located further back from the cylinder's intake. This means there is still some, albeit reduced in model year 2023, throttle lag from the Rotax Triple. The Viper's short intake runners mean throttle response is right now, with literally no, zero, zip, not a throttle lag. And so, my snow-crazed friends, the Viper accelerates like a really good running 600cc two-stroke sled. There is no disappointment to the way this responds to throttle inputs. Acceleration is exceptional. Clutching on the 2023 Viper is in the hands of a Yamaha-built primary and secondary. This duo has proven effective, sturdy, and kind to drive belt. The Viper's explosive torque-induced acceleration is enhanced in model year 2023 by the sled's now standard 137 by 125 inch camso shredder. Unfortunately, there is no ice ripper option. I digress. The good news is this 137 inch sneaker plays a tangible role in keeping the torque rich 1049 hooked up when plying the throttle in twisty terrain. Suspension is a big deal in this trail biased marketplace that the SR Viper plays to. Good news is this. The SR Viper comes standard with three Fox QS3 compression adjustable shocks. Two up front, one on the rear arm, and the middle shock is an aluminum body coilover IFP design. This skid uses Yamaha's proven sliding front arm system to deliver an exceptionally plush ride in jigglers. In essence, the front torque arm decouples itself under certain impacts, letting the rear arm couplers take over the transfer of power to the chassis while the front arm benefits from operating with reduced spring and shock interaction until the bumps deepen when everything goes back to normal. It's a sophisticated design with roots in snowcross racing. In this segment, handling is almost as important as suspension. And this is one area where you may have to make some compromises or at least get adjusted to it. The Viper is a four stroke. Four strokes, generally speaking, are heavier than two strokes. And so there may be a learning curve for you, adjusting to a little bit heavier ski pressure and heavier handlebar weight. For most people, it happens automatically and everything's cool. Essentially, there is a time of adjustment as you familiarize yourself with both the immediacy of throttle response and the extra weight up front. It is not an insurmountable challenge. It's just different than what two-stroke riders may be used to. What doesn't require any adjustment to appreciate is the SR Viper LTX GT's amenities. There's an attractive and highly functional mid-height windshield, a super comfy heated seat, and a full 20 inch deep rear storage bag that blends into the Viper's tail section and the aforementioned Fox QS3s. A magnetic tether works perfectly as does a dual face instrument cluster, which can be toggled to display a plethora of data. There is an ever increasing and growing number of snowmobilers who are interested in buying a four stroke snowmobile. If you're amongst this herd of buyers, I would strongly suggest that you find a way to get a ride on an SR Viper 137. You certainly will be impressed just as we were.